天我们来了一家餐厅的名字叫做嘎耶道，它的名字其实是取自于古巴的首都哈瓦那里，中国城里面一条街的名字叫做卡耶古奇，有一就是刀街。那嘎耶呢，在西语里面是街的意思，后面他们是直接用了中国刀的汉语拼音道。由此大家可以看出来啊，这家餐厅做的是什么风格？古巴中餐。小哥已经在里面等我了，让我去加入他。Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, what do you have for me? I need to introduce you to the lady of the of libations, Miss Jessica. Hi, Hello. 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 Okay, so, and you've prepared some drinks for us. What did you make? Well, first, I want to introduce you. This is the Macau cocktail. The syrup we infuse the zinha, which is we use combined the ingredient, which is Cuban. They also use a similar ingredient as what the, the spices as Chinese use it as well. For instance, they use a lot of uh, peppercorn, uh, ginger as well. Anise, star anise. Star anise, that like which is we use as Chinese yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, a Chinese too that can get you drunk. Okay, and how about the other one? The other one, this is one of our signature Cayeta uh, mojito, and um, gotta be rum when you're in a Cuban restaurant. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, sea salt leaf, we use the lemongrass syrup. And this is the sugar cane. In Chinese, we call it a gansu. Gansu. Oh my god! Do you know this? No, I no idea. No. Oh my no. god. So actually, you you just chew it to get the sweetness out of it. Oh. But you have to spit the rest of the it out. Okay. Show it's me how sweet. it's done. Oh, it's so sweet. Sugar it's come easy. from this. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's gross, but you just spit it out. Mm. And swallow it. Okay. Oops. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a pure sugar. Mmm. That's what's that's up. Amazing. Oh, I'm a fan. Wow. Okay. You go first. I think this is a very. It's it's interesting because it's refreshing, but at the same time, you can taste a little bit Chinese too flavor in it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Holy Macau, that's good. It has a. Sparkling, gingery. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's like super refreshing. That's that's the kind of drink that you're like, we're ready for spring and summer here. It doesn't feel like it in New York, but we're still gonna do it anyway. Mm. After the two drinks, I think I need some food right now. Yes. Wow. Okay. We're starving. Jessica, you've gotten us off to a great start, but we're moving to the table. Wow. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cuban Chinese to us is, um, if we were Chinese and, and set down in Cuba and Havana, most people don't realize that Havana had a huge 44 block Chinatown at one time. Um, so if we were there um, looking to make some food that we would enjoy and maybe not finding the ingredients that we would find at home, you know, what would we pull from, from the Cuban cuisine into, our, into these dishes to make it uh, something that we could enjoy. It's about to go down at Calle Dao. <laughs> so we got ourselves started with some really delightful drinks. Really I feel like that's it. the perfect segue into yes. the food that we're going to be having. Okay, this is actually very new to us, Cuban Chinese. So when you mention Cuban, what do you think of? What's Cigars, vacation, just a complete relaxing oasis. <laughs> but this is not only Cuba food, this is Cuban Chinese food. There is a huge history of um, the Chinese in Cuba, and so they took um, the culture there and also the ingredients that were available to them, and they made their own dishes. And this is, this restaurant's like spin on that. It's like their own unique thing. 呃，所以第一批来到呃古巴的中国人，大概是在一八五七年的时候，那个时候呢，大概是有两百个中国工人到达古巴。嗯、呃，随后呢，到了一八七零年的时候，中国人在古巴的人数一度是达到了四万人。那个时候，中国城在古巴有四十四个街区，可以想象吗 ？And that's why so many Chinese people are there, and they integrate with the local culture. According to my study, they do have a lot of influence on how to cook rice and pork in particular. Oh yeah. 
Well, look at this. We're getting like a history lesson and a cooking lesson exactly, all in one. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. This one. So this is the Mapo Maduros. It's a sweet plantain. Oh. And you know my love of Mapo tofu. It runs super deep. I can already tell it's covered in this, in this pork. Mm -hmm. I did so right with ordering this. <laughs> the plantain is is so sweet and moist, and then this uh, the pork is spicy, spicy sweet, and um, amazing Ooh, and spicy. Uh, oh. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Mm. I can't taste too much of it, but the spicy meat, the meat of the pork, and the meat of the pork are very 关键是，你知道吗？我平常吃东西很喜欢把辣的、咸的和甜的东西在一起。这个 plantain 本身又有点甜甜的，又有点酸酸的，好神奇。豆腐平常是软的，但是这个 texture 你会觉得有一点点像，嗯，刚刚熟的香蕉的那种味道。Let's do some croquet. Hmm. Croquet? Not croquet. Croquet is a game. Okay. Oxtail croquet. Hmm. 和我平常吃到的不太一样，满口进去都是肉。我觉得牛肉是轻微的煮，就是有煮过，但它的味道相对来说比较淡。牛的味道要突出一些。This all this sauce almost almost reminds me of like a hollandaise kind of. I know it's um like a mustard kind of sauce, but oops, I'm double dipping. Excuse me. Hmm. Really good coating on the outside of the croquette. And then the meat, the oxtail, tender, and yeah, I like it. Yeah. Actually, I expected the oxtail can be more salty oh, than this. Salty. Outside is very crunchy, and inside oxtail, you can taste a very strong beefy taste. But I really hope that if I can taste more like tomato side, that would yeah. be great. Also, but I don't know if it's a Chinese preference. There's these pickles here too. Ooh, try those. I think that's kind of what it's missing. It needs like something seriously powerful to go with it. And you really cut off the greasy part of the croquet. Yes. Mm. I think we should go with this one next. Goat neck. Yang jing rou. This yang rou, it is first in the meat. 还有橘子汁里面，包括加上很多中国的五香粉煮成的。还有很多人都说呢，嗯，古巴中国菜它其实受到中国菜的很，就是肉类受到中国菜的影响非常之多。比如说你像五香粉的这种运用，包括我在下面还看到有香叶，他们煮的时候这些东西的应用应该是对他们的影响是挺大的。Already, I can look at this and be like, this looks like a Chinese dish, you know, with the with the sauce and the vegetables. And it's off the bone. 看看我这一块肉里面既有筋，然后又有肉，哇！蘸一点酱汁。Gonna go for it. Go. Oh my god! So good. 整个羊肉的味道非常的浓郁，而且简直就像化开在你的嘴里的那种感觉。呃，你不太能尝到太多五香粉的味道，但是我相信五香粉的味道在这个肉的肉汁的形成过程当中是起到了很大的作用。总之，我觉得这道菜好好吃啊！嗯。而且我想说的是，它下面铺的那些蔬菜，包括有炒白菜、蘑菇，还有胡萝卜。吃上去，你知道吗？这种锅气的焦香味很浓郁，而且这些蔬菜在吸收了杨锦的这种汤汁之后，变得非常的 savory。Man, if it's like a rainy day and I'm in a bad mood, I am coming and I'm destroying this entire goat neck. This and the mapo plantain, uh -huh. amazing. I want to try this one so bad. Oh, this is pato frito, duck fried rice. A lot of duck inside. Oh. With a lot of duck meat. It actually reminds me of Zhang Cha Ya Chao Fan, Chinese version of duck fried rice. Oh, it it's so a tea smoked duck. But this one, they, they, they um, confit the duck and then shred it. They confit the duck, but the different side of it is they use um, bay leaves and also five spice powder. And there's so many vegetables. Like, this is not lacking in terms of the. Uh, ingredients and the chef told me they use the overnight rice, which is definitely the authentic way to do the stir fry mm -hmm. rice. We mm -hmm. always use the overnight rice. Of course. Okay, you first. 
，鸭子肉非常的嫩，而且带着很浓郁的五香粉的味道，嗯，也很油香。但整体这个炒饭其实比我们中式的张茶鸭炒饭要更清爽一些，很好吃，而且米粒都颗颗分明，很有嚼劲。And it has a little crisp right here, which is important for the fried rice, which I am always a huge fan of. I'm gonna change my legal name to Crispy Clements. <laughs> Okay, so crispy, crispy climates. We have something climate. different mm -hmm. here. Um, this is familiar to me, but inside, tell me more about it. This is a Chinese take on a Cuban sandwich. So a Cuban, or also known as a cubano, is filled with ham, salami, pickles, um, and I think cheese, and then they put it on a press. It is fantastic. But this is their interpretation, where they put it in. They're then a bao bun. Okay. No. I like it. The pork is not too overpowering, um, but it's also very flavorful. I like the pickle inside. Mm. The sourness goes really well with the pork. Um, it's not. It's less greasier than the Chinese version. I like it a lot. I do too. It's its, it's yeah. own new thing. And we still have desserts. What? Can we ask for desserts? I thought I was gonna drink my dessert. Okay. Dessert, please. A little dessert can't hurt. While it's called a banana split, the dessert marries China and Cuba in the most decadent way. Fried plantains are topped with scoops of sesame ice cream and drizzled with chocolate sauce and dulce de leche. For a taste of Havana's Chinatown in Manhattan, check out Calle Dao. The restaurant is located at 461 West 23rd Street between 9th and 10th Avenue. Your taste buds will be Havana good time in no time.